Tony, this is SV Dispatcher, and uh, as you may well know, we've been building a cruising sailboat. She's a J Bedford designed 31.8 feet uh, jump rig schooner sailboat. And uh, basically done, and this winter we're set on the hard, just doing a few upgrades after autumn sea trials and getting ready to set off and, and head out a bit further afield. And I'm here in the saloon area of the boat it's looking a mess i've got tools out and screws and bits and bobs out all over the place I'm doing a few jobs on board and i've decided really just to concentrate on a couple of things one of the big things on my list was to seal the galley water pumps both of which were dripping which is a bit of an annoyance and um, and now i've decided to change one of them all together so i've sealed this the fresh water pump and refitted that and the salt water pump, I've decided to use a foot pump, one of the old whale, was it baby whale or whatever they call them, baby gusher, I don't know what they call them. The foot pumps, they're really simple. Uh, it's an old one I had. But the beauty of the foot pump is that I can pump with my foot and have two hands to wash things with the salt water. And obviously I want to encourage myself to use salt water where possible, um, thereby saving fresh water. Uh, so that's nice and uh, where it leaves a hole in the galley top where I'm taking the original pump out, I shall make a little device for holding the washing up brush, just a little box thing for holding the washing up brush and sponge and whatever there that will cover that up and uh, be varnished tea can look quite nice. You know? So that's on the go. And I've also, another thing that I had was I bought, a, <laughs> these are, this is totally unimportant, but I bought a rubbish bin in uh, Denmark. I didn't have one at all, just had plastic bags when I set off. And I decided to fit that under the galley so it's all in the same area as the pumps I've been working. I've cut away a bit of the shelf and mounted that. And uh, that gets that out of the way, it's tidy. And uh, yeah, actually it is an improvement. I've got a couple of other bits to do. I want to get done today. I've brought a bit of trim up where I've fitted the extension for the VHF radio. I just want to hide the cable, so I've made a bit of trim and brought that up. Uh, that should be good. And then, as we stand, we're now a bit less than five weeks to launch. And um, the most important things, obviously, the underwater line work, which is basically just anti-foul and fitting the trim tab for the wind vane. Um, that's really not a big deal. The biggest deal I've got is a bit of engine work that needs doing and I need to run the diesel return line from the engine back to the tank which means I need to free the tank up to access that and the I've got an oil seal here it is in the box this is the rear crankshaft oil seal and I'll have to split the engine and sail drive apart I'll need to look at it I th I'm thinking of just pulling the engine forwards rather than taking the sail drive out yet again um, and I've got that to fit. That, I'm hoping to do both of those things, the diesel and this, next week. I've also purchased a very beautiful larger propeller. Look at the size of that beast. It's a 16 by 9, 16 inch diameter at 9 pitch, um, which is significantly bigger than the one I have and is recommended to me by the lovely... Frau Kirschbaum at the Austrian propeller selling shop. Um, so I should be getting that on and hopefully getting a bit more thrust out of that, but not overpowering the engine. Yeah, so the engine will still push us, but give us that bit more thrust. And I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes. Certainly looks bigger, it's very nice. We've got the stove running, which you might hear the fan on. And I've got one of these old whale pumps. In fact, I've got one in the bathroom there for the water at the head sink there. And I've got another one. This one I've had since Miss Molly. So I've had this about 30 years or so, 26 years, isn't it? Um, I took it apart, I'd look inside, it's completely rust free. The only thing that's not so perfect is this clip, which will be easily replaced. condition so I think we'll just go with that as it is. Nothing broken on it. That's, good. That's really good, not a hint of rust. Yeah. Well 
but I think I'm going to use this for salt water instead of the hand pump because it'll give us the option to, to pump it with a foot and have two hands free for washing things under salt water which will be better and also will solve any leaking issue there and then where I've got this pump handle I'm going to build a little storage thing for the washing up brush and sponge and things like that you know and if I put that down there can you see that hazel I think that's the spot it'll go in a bit further I'll drill some holes through so those uh, pipe tangs go in there and put that all up under there that should be easy really so that's what's going to happen. I'm going to take that old pump handle out, keep it as a spare for the fresh water and put that foot pump in there. I made this piece, it's not the original, but did the job well. I'll just make a little thing that sits on there that the washing up brush and whatever go in. A little drain goes into the sink. Look lovely. That's the other one there, look. That's, that's our height there. 24, it sounds like a better size, doesn't it? Yeah, got a clutch in the hole saws from that down to fairly small. I go 24. There we go. That's one. And that's that. We we'll simply pop that out. That fits in there. Oh, look at that! It's beautiful. Close up. Yeah. I think we'll go to Chandler's and see if we can get a new clip for that because it's horrible, that clip, isn't it? Mm, yeah, a bit rusty. Disgusting. Yes. New stainless clip on there. <laughs> it's actually much. It's a lovely quality clip at the width and. Full stainless. Ten bucks for a hose clip. Stove is nice and warm now. Yeah, so that's going to fit in there like that. That's how that's coming. In here, of course, we've got to hook some hoses up. Right, so I'm just going to cut that off just by that T there. Sleep for a bit of simply pop that together. Like that one. And I absolutely guarantee you this one's a seven. Well actually it doesn't look like it. Incredibly they're both the same size. And that's going to go in there like that. Uh, that'll be okay, won't it? It's not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in truth, but I guess we're going to look at it much, aren't we? So, let's see. Sorry. That will be fine. Absolutely fine. And I like the way it's tucked well out the way. Yeah. I just scanned the camera to the tap to show you. Try and see the comments coming out. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Funnily enough, we're not drawing this. So Let's see what we're through there. There it is. A little foot pump and some beautiful plumbing. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's alright, isn't it? Yeah. Done. Hey, lunchtime? Yeah. yeah. What is it? Let's have <laughs> a look. Oh, okay. I'll open my top. Oh, that looks good. Doesn't it? Mm. Uh. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> I'll back a bit more. Yeah, should be good, I think. Right, here we go. This one's a bit thinner, right? <laughs> that 
should get us a convection current from it. I think that's going to be good enough. When it's warm, if that back gets warm, that should draw heat yeah. air in there and out the top. I should start pumping it out the top and then that will draw in at the bottom, won't it? So I put the boat again, uh, doing some galley improvements and I've got this delightful bin that I bought in uh, Denmark and I want to fit it against this door so that it fits in under the sink there. Uh, so you open the door, throw the rubbish in. Up till now I've stored it under the stairs which is less than ideal. So that's the hope. Stove burning behind me, you can probably hear the fan. But I've got the toolkit with me, I'm going to try and cut that out and see. Hopefully it's going to work. That's looking very hopeful. Now I've just got to screw it to that door. And I've made a couple of pencil marks, I don't know if you can see them, pencil marks, <laughs> height and how far in it's got to go. I'm going to put three holes through here so I can go pass through it and whack a screw through it and through the other side. Let's go. Bin bag. That is rubbish. Good. We we'll just paint around in here, paint that edge. But that's fine. Job done.
Yeah, so this is going to come over here like that. Quite a decent fit, really. Screws. Should go through there like that. We'll paint that. I don't think I'll seal it. I think I'll just leave it like that. Just paint it and call it done. So as you all know, I love these um, 12 volt Bosch professional tools and um, <laughs> I've always kept them, or mainly kept them, in these, they call them L boxes. And I've got two there and there's another, a deeper one up there, although that's a, you know, another company's version of it. But uh, last summer, or during the sea trials, they're difficult to store these things. I had them under the forward bunk, but every time you want to use a tool, you've got to dig under the forward bunk, obviously. And, and you know, forward bunk storage is great for things you don't use very often, but, but not your tools. So I'm um, rethinking tool storage. I've got this nice big locker here, which I had some sort of beer and things in. That toolkit there fits nicely in that locker. And I've bought one so far of these it's the Bosch professional tool bag waterproof and they fit in there fits in there if the cushion wasn't in the way fits in there beautifully and I'd fit three of those in there no trouble at all so I'm thinking of moving all of my tools into these bags storing them in there and that would then be the tool locker freeze up that uh, as ever just thinking stowage through it's a it's an ongoing thing but when we set off this year it needs to be well, mainly right and i need to have everything that i need for a longer voyage on board so that's what's happening the vacuum i use a lot i'm gonna put that in last i think jigsaw can go in there that foot thing i never ever use anyhow jigsaw blades a little grinder gets used a lot. Little pockets on the sides here, which is quite nice. Then we've got the Dremel, fits in there. And there's Dremel tools that got up in there, wouldn't they? I've already got the sander in there, I put it in a plastic bag so. Put dust everywhere. I've got the planer and the saw. And I'm going to put the saw down lower and the grinder on top. That should do the job. That's all of my Bosch tools, isn't it? The drill can go in there. Oh, the vacuum obviously goes in there. So that 
it's a waterproof bag as well, I didn't say, which is excellent, isn't it? I'm not sure how waterproof the zip is. Yeah. Well, we'd certainly get two of those in there without a question. So, I think that's what we're going to do. Fits in there easily. It goes up there. And this one. You can do that with the with the handles. Look. Fits in there nicely on top of that. That is lovely. We'd certainly get one more of those in. I'm going to buy one more. Let's get all my hand tools in another one. Well, there we go. As you can probably see, it's a lovely sunny day today. Spring is springing. And uh, it inspires, really does. Next week, hopefully this, this will continue and I'll be able to get out on the outside of the hull, start prepping that up. Um, it's getting close. And I say, we're getting, uh, getting towards launch time, end of the month, end of, well, 2nd of April actually. Launch time, so we're getting there. Thank you for watching, it's truly appreciated. And, and of course, a massive thank you to the brilliant people that support us on Patreon or via PayPal. And if you'd like to support the project, I'm sure you know where to look. Link coming up at the end or in the video description. All right, see you next time. Bye.